30 starts now. One of the largest ever expansions of veteran health care just announced, and it will impact military members in our region who've been battling the federal government for benefits. Thank you for joining us at 530. I'm Darren Perrin. And I'm Kiana Burks. The VA is accelerating access to government health care next week for veterans exposed to burn pits and other toxins. It's a 180 from when we first told you about the problem. Many veterans are eligible under a number of different criteria. A seismic shift at Veterans Affairs. Healthcare is now expanding to millions more veterans under the PACT Act and years earlier than the law requires. The PACT Act grants veterans exposed to burn pits in war zones and other toxins healthcare coverage and disability payments they couldn't get before. Channel 3 News first told you about these burn pits, open air trash fires that burned all day and all all night. In them, everything was torched with jet fuel. We have a burn pit down here. We saw our veterans living and working near them when we embedded with the Vermont National Guard in Afghanistan in 2010. Soldiers breathed in the smoke that hung over the bases. Many got sick many died. Our investigation highlighted how for years the Defense Department and Veterans Affairs denied burn pit exposure claims, arguing more studies were needed first, until Congress passed and the President signed the PACT Act. And now, eight years ahead of schedule, the VA announced a new streamlined process to enroll and receive benefits for anyone who was exposed abroad or at home. So if they were working in a motor pool or they were at a, a particular base and there was a, a type of exposure that's documented, they would be eligible under this new authority or they could be eligible based upon some other experience that they had during their military service. The expansion of care covers vets who served in Afghanistan, Iraq, Ground Zero after 9-11, or any combat zone in the global war on terror, the Gulf War, Vietnam, and even those who trained near toxins. They can enroll directly in VA health care without the phased-in approach of first applying for benefits. It opens the door to care much, much sooner. But once they enroll in healthcare, they're in for life. So they can start coming to the hospital for the treatments. Under the PACT Act, more than 100,000 veterans have enrolled in VA health care and roughly 760,000 disability claims have been approved. This new move is expected to make millions more eligible. It's going to open the door for millions of veterans that not necessarily have the service connection established for their conditions. But now they will be able to receive health care with us here at the White Redemption VA Medical Center and our CBOX across the state. So it's going to provide affordable health care to a lot of veterans out there that probably need it right now. The VA says the expansion of health care benefits begins March 5th. Summer.